Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I'm back this week with a new video. This week we are doing pattern picks from Daisy Jones and The Six. If you haven't watched the TV programme, please just go and watch it now because I'm going to probably put some spoilers in here and also you just need to go and watch it because it's so incredible. For those of you that have watched it and like me basically fell in love with all the outfits, I spent the entire time pausing it, taking photos of my phone of the outfits, which is what I do when I really love something. Then I started looking for them and then realised that maybe I should just do a video on them because you guys might be looking for some of the patterns too. Um, I loved it. So obviously it's set in the 70s. Um, it's based, It's a book. Um, it was out a few years ago and everyone went absolutely mad for it. And I think it's very, well loosely based on um, Fleetwood Mac's story as well and it's about a band who get together and then it all sort of implodes and the story is wonderful and I just loved how it was the story was told they had um it was done almost like a documentary where they were talking to them in the present day about what had happened and they showed you what had happened and they had them the kind of the band members almost as talking heads talking about what happened and then they showed you so it was just it's just it, it was so so fantastic um anyway i'm gonna get started i've got some really lovely patterns to talk to you about i've i've basically got patterns from three of the characters so there's some stuff from daisy there's some stuff from simone her best friend the sort of the sort of soul singer and then camilla who is Billy's wife, the main singer's wife. And I really like them because they all had quite different looks. And I particularly loved Camilla's, the wife's looks, because I think what she wore was a bit older and, well, basically they were more, <laughs> they covered more of her body. Daisy was like in quite a lot of hot pants and little bra tops. But um, yeah, I picked some kind of thing, core key pieces from, I thought things that I really loved in the, in the program and I've got them here for you. Now apologies, I did look for kind of proper photos but I couldn't find hardly any so these are all taken on my phone of the TV and I'm like cropped them in a bit so apologies they do look slightly grainy. Um, yes so right let's get going. The first pattern I've got is one from Camilla. This sort of very I think iconic 70s style dress, mixture of paisleys um, and florals. And I just love the, that pattern kind of change all within the same color bracket, I think is gorgeous. So I've got two patterns for you. Um, I've got the Vogue 9076. So the core detail of this dress was this sort of curved waistband um, that kind of curves underneath the bust. I picked this one because it's actually a Vogue, like a, an old Vogue 70s pattern that they've reissued. Um, it felt pretty close to me. It's got the lovely skirt detail, that waistband that we're looking for, gathering over the bust, um, and it buttons up the front. Her one doesn't button up the front, and um, so I've got another option. Um, this is the Style Arc Philomena woven dress. I really love this. So it's got that kind of shaped um, panel just below the bust. This panel actually is sheared. So I thought it was quite interesting concept because actually it would be really comfortable to wear because it would actually kind of move with you. Um, give you a bit of breathing space around there because I have worn dresses like that underneath there and they can feel quite restrictive. So I really like the idea that this one would give you a bit more breathing space. This one is slightly more modern and as you probably can see, um, but it definitely gives that sort of 70s nod. It's midi length and um, yeah, so this could be a nice kind of slightly more modern nod at that look. So next up, I would say we've got the caftan edit. Um, Daisy wore loads and loads of caftans in this in all different sort of guises. Long, big, dramatic, floaty caftans. And I've got a few options which I thought I would share with you. So I've shown you some pictures of what she was wearing. And then I think these would, any of these would work really well. They've all got slightly different details. So I thought I'd put a few in just to kind of tick more boxes for you guys. 
So the first one is the Simplicity 9323. Um, I put this one in because it's got a really nice, it's got a v-neck, it's got a quite dramatic kind of roughly kind of sleeve option going on. Um, obviously it's extremely simple in terms of the construction, which is what's so nice about them. And then it's also got this lovely bar that goes along the front, um, which I thought was really interesting. I think it's probably to stop it falling off your shoulders because it's quite a wide neckline. So that was the first one. The next one is the Vogue Caftan um, V1886. This one is looks like a, a vintage reissue as well. So this one would be bang on. Um, I loved the kind of drawstring around it. And it again, it's got this big sort of dramatic sleeve as you'd expect. And the, cur the, the sort of shape of it, it looks quite curved in its um, kind of, if you look at the line drawing, I just and it's got that really nice kind of um, round neck and then it's quite low at the back which I thought was really beautiful. Next up we have got um, which I think was probably the sort of most um, the kind of less the least full-on of the caftan options was a Butterick one so it's the B6683. I like this one because it came with three different options um, it's sort of like a little you could wear this I thought as a beach cover-up it'd be quite nice the maxi version probably was closest to what um, Daisy wore but I, I think you could totally do the shorter one and it would feel quite on on trend and I also like the sort of little tunicky top version so I thought those three would kind of tick the kind of major caftan box so next we've got this amazing outfit from Simone. This was when she arrived in Greece. She just got off the boat and basically I saw it and I was like, oh, I know the pattern for this. This is perfect. So for her, for the set, so the kind of trousers and little top, I thought that the Friday Pattern Company Seguro set was absolutely perfect for this. Um, it, I mean, literally almost spot on. I was really pleased with it. So I think that would work really well. It's got the wide leg trousers, it's got that little like crop top with, and it, again, it'd be really nice and comfortable to wear on the beach if you're going somewhere warm, which is obviously where Simone was. Um, so that's that. What we also need is a kind of caftan open floaty sort of um, top. I thought that the Berda robe coat, the 6244 would work perfectly for that with that. So those two put together, is literally, I was pretty chuffed. I thought it was like bang on for, um, for, for Simone's outfit. Next up, we've got um, an, a dress from Camilla. This is what she wore when she came to see them on tour. She turned up part of the way through the tour and had this really amazing leopard print dress on, which I just thought was so beautiful and glamorous. So I found a pattern that I thought was pretty close. Um, the only thing that you'd need to do is add a sort of a long thin tie to wear around the, around the neck. So the pattern that I chose was the Vogue 9343. It's got that really deep plunging neckline that hers has. Um, it's got a big kind of flared skirt. Um, the only thing, hers had a kind of slightly wider waistband, but I thought this would work pretty well. If you then had a tie around the neckline, you'd be absolutely bang on. Um, I'll show you the line drawing so you can see what's going on. It's quite a nice, simple kind of construction for this. Um, it's your kind of classic. It feels quite um, 50s, actually, this sort of shape. So then we had another one from Camilla. Um, this was, I love this, and this feels so 70s. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to put this in because this is just like to what I think of like classic 70s wear. That sort of... Um, Diane von Fustenberg wrap, iconic jersey wrap dress. So the dress, the pattern that I chose for this was the Vogue 8379. I thought this was perfect. It's got that big kind of collar detail, um, wrap, you know, all the things that you'd expect from a jersey wrap dress. You can also make this but with a short sleeve version, but hers, um, the one that she was wearing in this was quite long. Um, the only other detail that might be worth adding is a quite a big cuff because the one that she is wearing has got a kind of kind of big chunky cuff, which would be an easy add on. So next up, we've got. I did sort of thing of uh, Daisy wearing caftans. These were sort of, I would say, like 
kind of caftan style tops, worn open, kind of wide sleeved, kind of robe feel. She wore them pretty much continually. So all kind of like slightly um, silky fabrics or they were sheer or they were embellished. And um, I just thought I had to kind of include a couple of options for these. So I've got two of them. Um, the first one is Mac the McCall's 8000. I thought this worked perfectly. This felt really spot on. It's really simple in terms of its construction. It's basically just squares and you can have the ruffle on or off. It's completely up to you. I actually love the way they've got it in a slightly sheer fabric as well because I think it very much is on brand with what Daisy would have worn. Um, and the other option is the McCall's jacket, the 8120. This again has that feel, it's got the wide sleeves, it's a bit more of an actual kind of proper top this. So it's got a little tie at the front, it's got a ruffle addition that you can add to the sleeve. Um, you can ha make it different lengths as well, but I th thought this felt very kind of on brand. So with those tops, she, oh, I've got one more, sorry. I've got a slightly longer one, um, the Butterick 6691. So this one I felt was, she also had some which were a bit longer, which kind of went, she'd be wearing like hot pants and they'd this would sort of come down mid thigh to the knee. Um, the Birda, this Birda option was really lovely. It also has another kind of frill option at the sleeve and actually has a really nice jumpsuit pattern as well. So you kind of get two for the price of one. So alongside these, she always wore these sort of little like either um, little little tank tops or quite a lot of sort of bra tops. Um, quite kind of, yeah, like almost like proper kind of almost like bikini tops. So I had a look and I thought that the Whale, Waves and Wild Superstar bra actually would work really well as if you wanted to do this. Um, it's a jersey pattern. It looks like it's got quite a lot of structure, which, you know, I think is essential <laughs> for something like this. But yeah, if you want a little bra top to wear with it, I thought that would work kind of perfectly. So next up is another outfit from um, Camilla. This was when she arrived when they were part way through the tour. I think it's the same bit as when she was wearing that leopard print dress I was talking about earlier. And obviously they've become quite famous, so she kind of her outfit sort of reflected that, they kind of got more glamorous. I loved this outfit, I thought it was gorgeous with the big sunglasses and the hat. So she was wearing this very beautiful silk blouse buttoned down the front. It has really big dramatic sleeves, which I thought were incredible. Um, so for the blouse, I thought the Vicky Sews Edgewidge, Edgewidge blouse would work perfectly. Um, it's v-neck, it's got some buttons at the front, but it, crucially it's got this enormous statement cuff and these really ex kind of beautiful statement sleeves. Actually it's really helpful that the sample is also made in a satin so you can really feel, it feels very similar to what she was wearing. And then I've got another Vicky Sews pattern for the trousers actually, the, the Daphne trousers, which I thought were perfect. Wide leg, um, tailored it's got that lovely pleat at the front really kind of statement trousers so I thought those two were sort of a match made in heaven so last but not least I couldn't I did have a look her stage outfits were because I know there's a lot of um kind of scenes with her on stage they sort of to me felt in the sort of caftan sort of bracket I couldn't find anything that kind of was the same but there was this dress that she wore in the last their last performance, which was just so gorgeous. And I kept staring at it. And anyway, so I've got this picture of it. And actually, I think I found almost the perfect pattern for it. The Vogue 1627, I thought was almost perfect. It's got that really deep V. It's got the big sleeves. Um, I know it's got a bow at the front, but you could totally change that to something like she's got, you can see she's got kind of a clasp at the front. I think you could do that with this pattern. And it just felt so similar in its style that I just had to include it. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. So I hope you found that useful and you've got some ideas and 
yeah, I, I'm actually going to go and watch the whole thing again because I loved it so much. So if you do have any suggestions for other shows you'd like me to find patterns for, do let me know down below because I will always, I'm always up for finding some, hunting out more patterns. And yes, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely weekend. All right. <laughs>